It's Michelle from Movement Lesson. Um, a lot of people think that movement in the human body is like that of a gyroscope. And I know I use that reference a lot, but it's not a gyroscope. First of all, a gyroscope has a linear uh, point of movement or a fixed point of movement where as an access point where we we do not but I want to show you this with with nature when you look at nature nature has laws of movement and that's what I come into play with 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 what I do um, I believe that, that all living organisms cognitive formation is that of opposing gravity versus succumbing to gravity however when the human body, like in cerebral palsy, feels that there's a fixed point of movement similar to this. See, no matter how I move, do you see the counter opposition it's doing instead of counteracting? So when I say counter opposing, I mean like if my hand comes up, I'm counter opposing, but I'm not doing it in such a way that I'm, I'm opposing every act that's made. So if I respond to stimuli like I'm holding this gyroscope, I'm trying to, in a sense, counteract. Whereas this gyroscope is, because it's a fixed point, is counterposing me. So very similar, again, like in cerebral palsy. So when you go to make a movement, you either have a fall or no matter what I'm doing, this, this sucker's wagging its tail to counter-oppose my force. So the more I move, you see, in a sense, that spasticity that's happening. So when you're doing a mode or a method of rehabilitation or rehabilitation on a person, if the system is still in this mode, the movements aren't going to be functional because they're neurocoding to this spasticity or oppositional force versus neurocoding to a force where you can go in and out and counter. Um, don't let the spasticity throw you off that it's more that there's a neurological coding of this kind of function in um, so that's where the muscles are so active instead of engaging in an active and passive phase so when you start to to bring the system back into where it needs to respond to more um, natural properties of movement that's when you start getting the changes within the body that need to happen versus the constant like this see I just I moved to, I was too violent and, and this thing's just bucking me that's to me when I'm touching someone that's how I work and why I have to go so slow because I need the, the internal mechanism within the body to respond to nature versus this kind of momentum where and that's where you start to see dystonia and start to pick up um, an ataxia in the body, um, really just based off of these modules. Mm -hmm.